hi there welcome back to my channel let's give this youtube thing another try take three now if you had told teenaged tina that she would be traveling ever i would have said where when with who for now don't get me wrong i have family abroad but they are not immediate family so you know how that go when i did start traveling it was only to the us and in my hearts of hearts that's where i thought the journey would stop but lo and behold the universe had other plans for me never in my wildest dreams would i have thought that i would have visited five different countries by the time of this recording not only that but just the fact that I did this all on my Jamaican passport. Unbelievable! Now this is Future Tina and welcome to my video diary series where I share some of my adventures and the things that I think are dope. And I'm sharing this just in case I lose my phone, I lose my memory due to old age, knock on wood, or iCloud fails me one day. Anything can happen. Basically all the memories I've been too shy to share otherwise. So the journey starts off in Jamaica en route to Panama, with the final destination being Mexico, where I will be spending one month. Yummy! I'll only be spending one night in Panama and leave the next day. I would recommend booking a hotel near the airport that provides a shuttle service. Say enough for Atope Ed when I time to leave the airport and when I time to go back at the airport to catch your next flight. By the way, make sure I say it free. After checking into the hotel, this is just me trying to find my room, which wasn't far. I stayed at the Crown Plaza Hotel, which was like minutes away from the airport. It was so easy to get back there. So I found my room. I did already go into the room, but because something did go wrong, we'd have to record it over. Me, well, I record and not like nothing in the room. As you can see, my luggage is already in there. Yes, so I'm just gonna lock up the door, make sure that everything's safe because in our next country, I can't take no chance. This is me just looking around the room. It was pretty basic. I'm only spending one night. It never did have a fancy, nothing like that. So I have a nice queen size bed. I have a little desk area set up. The bathroom was clean and spacious. And we never have no view, but that's all right, just one night. This is the next day. I had an evening flight, but checkout was early, so I had to split and I just killed some time at the airport. So I had something to eat and then got the shuttle back to the airport. The service was impeccable and I was well treated. So I leave the hotel now and this was the first time I was seeing outside in the daytime because we did arrive at night and it was giving Jamaica vibes. It was like I was in Jamaica. It never looked much different than in Jamaica. Like I almost have whiplash, we can put just stop, look around the place and we see this nice little bus and I was like, oh, I used to travel on those back in the day day. And I was just looking around, fooling my eyes, just to look up, scope out the place because, you know, I've never been to Panama before. So I was just trying to see as much as I could before I left, even though I spent one day. The airport was just minutes away, so it didn't take me long to reach at all. And everybody just green, just all up on the plants and how clean everything was. And I was like, yeah, this is Panama. Anyway, I made it to the airport and it's time to find where to check in. Now me with my enough self decided to make a check in using them kiosks. So, yeah, it never did work out for me because I put in my details like two times and it still never worked. But I just end up going back in the line anyways. And that was my flight and what time it was going to leave and it was right on time. And this is me just boarding to Mexico. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to Mexico. This is really happening. This is really happening. I couldn't believe say I actually did I go to Mexico. And this is when the plane take off from Panama. And I was like, bye Panama. I hope I see you someday. I hope I get to explore you someday. Maybe. Who knows? 
so the flight from panama to mexico was a total of four hours and because i was so anxious it seemed much much quicker than that so i had a little moment in the bathroom i realized that my neon green nails glued in the blue light and i was <laughs> enthralled by it and this was what they serve us this was what they gave us to eat and manala had the best ear plain food me ever eat since my travel and i just watched a movie kick back and relaxed and this was when we were flying overhead in mexico and i'm like oh my goodness i am here look at it look at all those lights i'm flying over mexico my glad bag did bust but more than anything else i was so grateful grateful and nervous nervous because anything can happen Yes, still and none of you will contribute them not to let you in so my mind is just go all over the place as much as we're excited even though you have the correct documentation anything can happen people reach the airport and then them send them back at them yard fortunately for me everything went smoothly it was so smooth i was in and then i was out now stay tuned for part two and all the things that i did while i was there see you in part two which is already posted by now. Mm, bye! Thanks for watching, guys. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.